The Sendero Group welcomes you to a new world of accessible location information. Visually impaired founders of Sendero have been developing accessible GPS for the blind since 1994. A blind person's toolbox of alternative tools and techniques should now include an accessible GPS. Some tools are for mobility, and some are for orientation. Creating pedestrian route. Turn right on Singapore Lane heading north. And then the challenging part. Choosing and purchasing the appropriate tools. And then learning how to use those tools. Hey, are we having fun yet? Go ahead and ask yourself. Are we having fun yet? But it's best to hear about the value of location information directly from blind college students, a mobility instructor, and a retired teacher as they explore the road to independence using their GPS tools. Ariel Gilbert, blind professional. I use GPS because I travel a lot for my job and I'm frequently in cities I'm unfamiliar with and it allows me to navigate and go where I want to go and be very efficient about my travel and be confident about where I want to go and it gives it kind of opens up the world to me as far as knowing what's around and what's available to me instead of being dependent on what somebody else thinks is important for me to know. Hobie Wedler, student. So the Sendero GPS technology has been extremely useful for me throughout my whole college career. I, I became uh, familiar with it as a freshman here at Davis and we're on such a large and diverse campus. I mean there's streets, bike paths, everything in every which way. And without it, it would be very difficult. But for instance, walking out of the social sciences building or Wellman Hall or the chemistry building, I can hear how far away intersections are, uh, how, how far away various points of interest are, like other buildings where I have classes. All right, your destination. Martha Pamperin, retired teacher. I use it mainly to stay oriented on the green belt when Lainey and I, my guide dog, and I are out for a walk. I can also set points of interest at places on the green belt that I need to find on a regular basis. I enjoy using it on trips as well, just to navigate for the driver. Jesse Garcia, veteran. Me and my bulldog, we walk to the store, come back every day for exercise. The first time I used my GPS, Mike May was with me, and um, my wife was a little, um, I can't say hysterical, but she was uh, extremely worried where I was at. And I called her up from uh, Mike May's cell phone and I told her we were at the tower market uh, down the road. She asked me, how did you get there? Did you fall? Did you hurt yourself? I go, no, I had my GPS and Mike was training me how to, how to use it good. At that, uh, that was the very first day. Uh, I hit bus 39, that's right at the corner. I hit the bus and then sometimes I'll set a route that'll tell me uh, where I need to get off. I'm able to make more decisions if I want to go someplace. I just can get up and go now without any problem with my GPS. Sandy Staples, mobility specialist, and Kevin Chow, student. I've had the pleasure of teaching the Sendero Braille Note GPS for the past, still oh, maybe about three years. It's been just a wonderful experience trying to integrate it within the natural travel for students. My main job was helping them learn to interpret the information and match it to real world experience. And that was actually what used my skills as an orientation and mobility specialist. Chang Hak Kua, blind professional. Oh my goodness, the GPS gives me a lot of confidence as I get to new places, places I've not been out to before. And taking a, a walk out to the unknown with a GPS makes you feel like as if you know what's around and where you're going without, without that lost feeling. And when I came to the street, at least I could now hear the traffic pattern and the direction and know when to cross and turn a right. And I walk straight and the GPS keeps telling me 150 meters to go, 120, 80, 60, 40, near. And that tells me I am actually about at the restaurant. Right, then to destination. Paige Bolden, student. Had a boy left. 
Okay, it's finals week, and I want to go get some coffee at the closest Pete's. Space D. Destination set to Pete's Coffee Tea. Um, so now we want to plan a route there, so I'm going to press an R. Route command list. I'm going to push a P. Creating pedestrian route. Route created. Okay, right? Inside? Oh, it just said we arrived at our destination. Finally. Good job, Lance. For more information, visit AccessibleGPS.com or SenderoGroup.com or call 888-757-6810. It is better to travel hopefully than to arrive.